Hey guys, just a quick one from me. So I just wanted to show you how to make your own custom smart materials in Quixel Mixer here. Uh, so there's two things that aren't going to work uh, when exporting a smart material. We can't have ID masks and we can't have paint masks. Uh, so we need to go ahead and remove all these. And just to make everything a lot quicker, I'm just going to turn off the visibility of the textures as otherwise I just sort of find that Quixel sort of tanks the process of doing everything. So let's just go ahead and delete all of these ID masks. And then once we've gotten rid of all the ID masks, we just need to make sure there's no paint masks. And I can see there's one here, so we'll just delete that. Then what we need to do is we'll just go through and we'll see if anything is using an AO map. In this case, we've got this one here. What we want to do is, unfortunately, we can't just go ahead and remove the ambient occlusion mask that's being used. Uh, we need to actually go ahead and create a new texture map, set it to a custom map. We'll call it AO for context for later down the track when we use it. Uh, set the blend type to multiply. And then we just need to match the map range and delete the previous one. And then just go through and do that for the rest of them. Once that's done, what we can do is we can just toggle the visibility back and it should look all wrong on your model and that's just because we don't have anything defining where certain materials should appear anymore. Then all we want to do is just right click on the folder and choose export as a smart material. Once this is done, if you did miss any ID masks or any paint masks, uh, Quixel will actually give you an error and tell you which ones you need to go clean up. Uh, but if it's all good, then you will get this window here and you can give your smart material a name and then you can just simply export it. Once exported, you're then at your own liberty to go ahead and drag and drop that smart material into a new project. And then once it is loaded in, all you need to do is go ahead and bring in the relevant ambient occlusion and ID masks to correctly define where materials need to belong on this new model. But this is great because it means that once you go ahead and build out one texture, all you need to do then is just quite simply bring it across to a different model and it's all there and already done for you. You don't need to go through the whole process again. Uh, of making a brand new texture setup uh, and you can just either build on top or just simply reuse the original one that you had and it's just a massive time saver. So yeah that's how you make custom smart materials in Quixel and I hope that helps you guys speed up your texturing process.